Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to do a brief tutorial about BrickLink. I've had a couple of questions come up about the remarks section because that's how I keep track of where things are in my store. And sometimes when the remarks aren't there, I can't find the item. But anyway, someone asked, uh, how can they search their store inventory by remarks? And also, another question, I think this was by AFAL Man, about how can you find or how can you set your um, invoice to where you can see the remarks, the, the seller. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right from scratch. We're going to go to, I use Chrome. I'm going to go to BrickLink. I'm already logged in. So I'm go Okay, so you get to the home page of BrickLink. I usually go to My BrickLink. There may be quicker ways of doing this. Go to My Inventory. And this is where you can search your store by the remarks. Now, if you know exactly how your remarks are typed in, you click this button here, Remarks. You go down to the keyword right there. So like if I want to search Drawer 1, I know it's labeled that, Drawer 1. I hit that, hit Go. It shows me what's in Drawer 1. Now watch this. Go back. I have to hit remarks again. I'm going to see what's in drawer two. Nothing. Why is that? Go back. Remarks. I type in 00002. What happens? That's what's in drawer two. I'm in the process of going to change all of my drawers to a five digit system so that when I pull the orders they should come up in numerical order because right now they don't. I'll show you that in a minute. So let me go back. Now the other thing you can do is if you don't know exactly how you wrote your re remarks now I, in this example so far I've just shown you numbers. I also have uh, other words that I use. Like I have a whole section of my store that has yellow bins. Let me spell yellow right. So if I hit that, my search remarks undo any part of the field, it'll pull up any lot that I have that has the word yellow spelled like that in there. And see I got a bunch of things in the yellow bins and the bins are numbered like this, A4. So if you don't know exactly how you type something, use that feature any part of the field. Now, like if I if you do a number and I say I don't I need to know where drawers two is, if I do any part of the field, it's gonna pull up everything that's got a two in it, eight hundred and twenty lots. So you don't you gotta you wanna narrow it down, but uh it, use as much of the information as you can so you don't have to search through that much stuff. So that's how you can search your store by the remarks right there. And it's under my inventory, search my inventory, remarks, keyword. Remember that. All right, the next thing is is you want to go to orders and the settings, my settings. So I'm going to my settings, and th this is how I got mine set up. Some may have it differently, but I always want to see the item number, how many I have left in the inventory, and my remarks. So when you do that, this is what your uh, your invoice will look like. If I go to one of my invoices, let's see, go to received. And this will not show any personal information. So anyway, uh-oh, I went back too fast. Let's go back. All right. Received. There we go. All right. What we have here is what I see when I look at your order. There's the 83. That's drawer 83, box 83. This is the bottom line is the remarks. And you see here, this is how many they ordered. That's how many I have left in my store. If there's an X, that means they bought all that I have left. So this is just an example. In the new BrickLink 2.0, you get these little squares here with the color in it. That's that's I think that's pretty new there. It almost looks like a checkbox. But that's what it looks it's like. It's got the weight there. But it's a real helpful tool. It helps you, especially when you're getting low on a part, to know whether or not 
you've been counting right or made some type of error. Like when I pull out that gun, there should only be seven left. If there's less or more, I can adjust my inventory. So that's a very good feature. All right, the quantity left and the remarks. But you see, let's go down here. These numbers, see how this 1398, 1626, 451. What it's doing is it's searching numerically, alphabetically. It somehow goes by the first digit, which is a 1. So you see, this. even though 1398 is bigger than 458, it came first. Then 451, then 874. So it gets things out of sequence. So that's why I'm working on changing them to 5-digit numbers. I doubt I'll ever have 10,000 drawers or, or 99,999 drawers. So I'm pretty much covered going to a five digit system but I gotta change all the drawers. So I hope that helped. I hope that answers the questions. And remember um, there might be other ways of doing things but basically your orders, my settings, check that, and then your inventory, go to my brick link, my inventory, and there's the remarks. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. It's Brickzark.